it's good everybody welcome back to the call of duty video today we got the roadmap for season five and y'all know the drill man we're gonna check out everything new coming in next week's update first things first if you haven't already you can now complete the final challenges for week eight of season four you can unlock the brand new helical reverb camo and i gotta be real with y'all it looks pretty good the last two season mastery camos i mean not the last two i guess the the, the season two was pretty good but season three wasn't too great and this one's definitely pretty cool it's animated it glows in the dark also if you complete the week eight challenges you will unlock a brand new blueprint for the fjx horus it also kind of glows and i don't know if you're a fan of the fjx uh, you get a free blueprint just for doing this week's challenges which is pretty cool and here it is the brand new roadmap for call of duty modern warfare 3 season 5 first we have some warzone updates brand new superstore point of interest this is the superstore from for dance which is pretty cool over in modern warfare 3 looks like we have five brand new maps uh, three of these maps are maps that are already in modern warfare 3 but now they're like cartoon version uh cell shaded which i guess is pretty cool also there's a brand new wwe game mode slam death match we'll have to see more about that in the blog post brand new weapons and operators obviously we have a brand new battle pass it looks like four brand new weapons a bow a spear thing it looks like a machine pistol and the stg 44 assault rifle also some brand new events uh the wwe event obviously we got cody rhodes and Rey mysterio uh, class yo that guy kind of looks like perseus and now for the juicy intel let's go ahead and get real deep into it here this is the season five blog post man first we have some brand new multiplayer maps uh bait we have a yard and then three brand new cell shader maps looks like cell ship to side and ink house obviously these maps are already in the game but now they're like cartoony cell shaded it's to go with one of the events also a brand new task force 141 bundle it's going to be on the store and the bundles like cell shaded it's got those special cartoony characters so brand new multiplayer modes we have a wwe collab this season slam deathmatch wrestle up your finest finishing moves looks like it's basically team deathmatch except it's all wwe finishing moves so i don't know man it sounds pretty cool i wonder if it's gonna actually work like that though like can you only kill people by getting behind them or it's gonna be some kind of different uh wrestling moves uh, i'm not sure but more game modes we got mini games uh cod warrior the arcade playlist i think the wwe one is probably the most interesting brand new ranked player awards it looks like we have a brand new blueprint loaded screen calling card camo and think that's like a shark sticker then obviously different camos and animated emblems for the different skill divisions i personally haven't played too much ranked in modern warfare 3 maybe i'll play more this season but i don't think we're gonna be unlocking these rewards oh we got a brand new zombies update the final story mission in modern warfare zombies i feel like they're gonna go all out for this honestly i didn't expect to get anything else major in model for zombies anyways i do hope they still do the pvp thing they haven't really ever talked about it but just imagine uh, zombies pvp i don't think it'd be a cool twist i know a lot of people are against that i just love dmz so much and i think it would really uh change up the pace you know what i'm saying but we have a brand new final story mission this is going to cap off the story of the entity and uh, ava and basically everything that's going on right now in model for zombies and then lead us into black ops 6 it's a little strange though because black ops 6 is going to be in the past like everybody that uh, we know that we're playing as in black ops 6 and model for zombies are technically all dead so we'll have to figure that out in the future but a brand new dark eat the rift it'll be a brand new easter egg brand new secrets and schematics i think that's the al Masra downtown area so looks like a piece of al Masra downtown is going is it al Ma yeah it is al Masra downtown and that's going to be the brand new dark eat the rift and then three brand new schematics the disciple bottle the grenade bandolier and the stash increase so the disciple bottle spawns a friendly disciple 
probably will be like the dog. It'll last for a really long time and just help you out in different situations. We have the Grenade Bandolier. Replenish your lethal and tactical equipment over time. That's pretty cool. So it just replenishes your grenades and stuff like that. It really doesn't sound too helpful because there's grenades literally everywhere when you're actually killing zombies. And then the stash increase. Increase your stash size to 30 and get looting. So right now the stash size in Model for Zombies is 20. You can unlock the schematic. You get an extra 10 slots to hold like pack of punches and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Brand new weapons. It looks like we have a brand new machine pistol. It, wait. A bite size LMG? No, no, no. So it's an SMG. Oh, it's like, okay. So it's a brand new SMG, the Static HV. We have the STG, which is pretty much like a modernized version of the STG 44. Uh, the brand new spear, which I think it's a, oh no, it's a throwable spear, which sounds insane. I saw this in the trailer. You could throw them and they exploded. And then the Torque 35, which is a brand new bow and arrow. It kind of looks like Sparrow's air or Sparrow's bow from the Black Ops series. I could be wrong about that. Maybe this is like a Black Ops 6 teaser. I'm not sure, but it does look very similar, if not the same. Oh, we got the brand new Black Cell skin. So a Veiled Phantom haunts the season five Black Cell offering with the introduction of Reckoner, featuring an animated operator skin that occasionally reveals the goal within. If you guys remember last season, we got the dupe and copy skins, uh, which are basically skins that if you did a finisher, you stole the skin of the operator that you killed. It just looks like this one's gonna be reactive in some way. It says reveals the goal within, so I'm not sure. We don't have a video or anything like that. Maybe he like turns into like a skeleton or something like that the brand new season five battle pass is going to include valeria looks like you get valeria as the tier one skin oh instant rewards so yeah you get valeria and rhea ripley from wwe which is insane like there's more wwe skins we'll talk about here in a bit but bro you just get her just for unlocking the battle pass also you get ivan a uh, reckoner which i'm pretty sure reckoner was the black cell so I don't think you unlock him and yeah yeah you only unlock him through the battle or the black cell battle pass oh my goodness is bro cody rhodes are you kidding me we got cody rhodes and ray mysterio both tracer pack operator bundles <laughs> Uh, also, we got the Toon Force 141, just more cell shaded skins like we talked about earlier, and the Underboss Pro Pack, which looks like this is the brand new Pro Pack. It'll, you know, be blueprints and operator skins. It costs 20 real dollars, but you also get 2,400 cop points, which it actually makes it a pretty good deal. Brand new weekly challenges, as always. It looks like the brand new camo is the Chainbreaker camo. Hopefully, it's animated. It this it does, you can't really tell from this image, obviously, but if it is animated, I imagine it like moving to the side, doing some kind of like comic book type of deal. And I don't know. I think with those colors, it would look pretty cool. You can level up to level 1,050 this season, and the brand new weapon prestige camo looks like it's called mercury kind of looks like a polyatomic camo that i don't know that changes colors it's definitely going to be animated but we'll just have to wait and see it looks like you need 250,000 xp to unlock this camo after unlocking the first two weapon prestige camos as well which Oh my goodness, man. That's a lot of XP. That's kind of insane. And that's basically all we got for Season 5 Modern Warfare 3. I say all we got. Like, we didn't just get a ton of brand new stuff. Obviously, Season 5 is going to drop next week. Either on the 24th or the 25th. I can't exactly remember. But it's next week for sure. Next Wednesday. And uh, you already know. We'll be right here playing some Modern Warfare 3. Uploading some videos. And uh, checking out everything there is to do. So, if you guys haven't already drop a like subscribe to the channel let me know what you're most excited about in the comments below and i'll see y'all soon for the call of duty video man